Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss LODs in TabView. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting new videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is LOD? LOD stands for Level of Detail. These are expressions that allows you control data computation on different levels of granularity in TabView. We can perform simple or complex computations at more granular level that is include LOD less granular level that is exclude or at independent level that is fixed LOD or you can say there are three type of LOD that is fixed LOD include LOD and exclude LOD. Okay before moving to the types of LOD let's discuss some of the terminology that's associated with LODs. So what is granularity? Granularity means viewing the data in details more detailed data means higher granularity and what is aggregation aggregation means being the data at summarized level granularity and aggregation are opposite to each other higher granularity lower aggregation higher aggregation lower granularity in this video we are going to discuss fixed LOD so what is fixed LOD fixed LOD expression compute a value using the specific dimension without reference to dimension in the view okay this is the syntax of fixed LOD. It start with curly brackets, then fix, then the dimension that we want to use and then aggregate expression. Okay. Fixed LOD comes after context filter. Let's say we have multiple filter for view. So fixed LOD will ignore all these filter except only context filter. Okay. Let's see how we can use fixed LOD and let's discuss some of the use case of fixed LOD in Tableau. I'm using sample superstore dataset for this video i will provide the link in the description box to download this dataset so there are two ways to create fixed lod first one is just go to create calculated field and call our fixed lod and then just call any of the dimension customer name and then some of sales and then just close our curly brackets okay this is first method and second one is just select the value let's say I want to create a fixed LOD for sales and ship mode okay just select both value right click on it go to create and LOD calculation okay now you can see we don't need to write fixed LOD expression it is already created just rename it this is second method okay and then just click on okay let's discuss how fix LOD works for this let's drag category and let's drag sales okay and drag subcategory as well okay so this view is showing the sales based on subcategory okay but if I want to see the data or sales based on category okay for this we can use fix LOD let's go at category with sales and then just call our function fixed category and then sum of sales and then just click on ok now just click on it now you can see this is the sales that are coming in our view and this is the sales that we created based on fixed LOD okay as you can see now we fix the sales based on furniture category and all the subcategories are showing sales for furniture subcategory okay and for office supply we fix the sales and same for technology also okay let's add both the fields into filters okay now if you remove any of the category the value remains same for the remaining categories with the sales okay that we already discussed because fixed LOD removes all the filters except context filter okay let's remove this one as well from here if you look at this we are having same sales with or without LOD okay if we remove any of the subcategories 
okay as you can see these values changed but our fixed LOD remains same because we fixed the sales based on category okay this is how you can use fixed LOD okay let's discuss some of its use case let's discuss first use case for this let's drag category and drag sales and drag subcategory into color to create a stack bar chart okay and just go with fixed width okay now here we are getting sales for each subcategory okay what if i want to show the sales for furniture category and total sales also okay for this what we can do is we can just go and create fixed LOD category okay and now just call our fixed LOD based on category and then just sum of sales okay and then just click on okay drag it into detail and to add total sale just total sales for this what we can do is we can just add our curly brackets and then sum of sales okay or either you can just write fixed and then sum of sales okay both are same just click on okay just drag it here okay now just added the tooltip just remove all of this first i want to show total sales then i want to show category and then i want to show sales of category then i want to show subcategory and then i want to show some of sales okay now just click on okay now if you look at this now we have total sales is 2 million 326 thousand 534 okay and from this we have furniture sales is 754k okay and if you look at this subcategory we have bookcases 115k for chair 335k for furnishing we have 95k and for tables we have 208k and same here is these are total sales and these are sales for office supply and these are the sales for subcategory appliances okay then this sales for art and this is envelopes this is label this is paper okay this is how you can use LOD to represent total sales then for each category then under each each category for every subcategory okay let's move to our next use case let's say i want to calculate ytd and pytd ytd is year to date and pytd is previous year to date okay for this we need to create a calculated field for max date let's rename it max date and call our function max and date okay and then just click on okay just go to calculated field and rename it ytd so if year of order date is equal to year of max date okay that we created and order date is less than equal to max date okay then it should give us sales okay and then end our calculation okay we are getting errors it says cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate arguments with this function okay if you look at this max value max date these are not aggregated value so we just need to fix it to find out the facts to find out the max value so what we can do is we can just call our function fixed and close it okay and then just click on okay now you can see our calculated is valid okay same you can go 
and duplicate it and just go with edit and change it to pytd and give it to minus y okay and then just click on okay so basically what we did here is when we are using just max of order date it was not able to do the comparison because it, it was giving our not not compare aggregate and non aggregate value so what we did is we just go and fixed our max of date so that we can compare both the dates and find out our ytd and pytd okay now just drag category and subcategory and drag our ytd and pytd okay this is our ytd sales this is our pytd sales okay this is how you can use fixed lod to find out ytd and pytd let's move to our next use case use case 3 for use case 3 what we are going to do is we are going to represent the profit per day then on the basis of this we are going to show that for which month we are profitable and for which month we are high profitable and for which month we are non profitable okay for this let's create a calculated field and calculate profit per day for this let's call our fix lod then call our order date and then sum of profit okay and then close our calculated field and then just click on okay for this let's create one more calculated field to divide if our day is highly profitable profitable or non profitable okay for this just rename it profitable so if profit per day is greater than equal to let's say 500 then high profit else if profit per day is less than zero then no profit make it else if else profit okay and end our calculation just click on okay now drag this okay and for order date just make it to distinct count now drag our order date for here year and month we don't want quarter let's remove it okay and now let's add profit into color as well and just change it to area okay and add our profit per day into tooltip okay now let's just adjust this i want to show first add year comma then we add our month as then we add our profit per day let's preview it and then just click on okay let's say now i want to analyze for which month we are having no profit or you can say we are having loss okay let's analyze the data for 21 if you look at this for for october we are having maximum loss and then if for april and then for jan okay and if you look at this in fab we have list loss okay and let's say if we want to analyze for which month we are having highest profit then just analyze the data for 22 if you look at this for for december we have maximum profit and then we have 7700 and for august and jan we have least least profit okay this is how you can use fixed lod to create the kpis okay i hope this use case will clear you 
why we use fixed LOD and how we can use LODs in our real time use case. Okay, thank you so much, guys. If you like the video, please do like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.